Hey, it's Mike here, and quick note, it's actually Mike like a microphone, or like my full name, Michael, not Mick like Mickey Mouse. I know, it was the spelling, it's confusing. Anyway, I wanna talk about why I hate zoodles or zucchini noodles, more specifically how there are certain dishes that are presented as vegan dishes that are calorie illusions, and why that's a problem, why it's bad for veganism. Okay, I'm exaggerating. <sighs> Do I need to get one of those new vegan flags and like carry them around like, that is bad for veganism. You are bad for veganism. What am I talking about? Well, let's look at the cold hard truth behind zoodles. Zoodles exposed. Zoodles are sort of framed as a healthier alternative to normal noodles. They're gluten-free, they're raw, they're a vegetable, but let's go on over to Chronometer and see why they're horrible. Okay, let's say that you have two cups of whole wheat pasta, 417 calories. That is the base of a meal that has an adequate amount of energy that puts you well on your way to a square 2,000 calories a day. Now let's trade that for two cups of zoodles. 50 calories. This is literally a recipe for starvation. This is energy-wise just a phantom of pasta. This is the ghost of pasta past. Now, now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying don't eat zucchini. I eat zucchini really often. Just don't make it the base of your meal. So why is this bad? Not only could it keep people from going vegan because they will be starving after eating this vegan meal, but a newer vegan could feel hungry all the time on their zoodle-based diet and think, hey, maybe a vegan diet isn't for me. I feel like I just can't be nourished by vegan food, which is absolutely not true. And I think this is part of a greater food education situation. Most people just don't know the calorie content of various foods. I know I didn't before I looked at them. All right, let's take a look at a couple more foods that can be misleading. Salads, greens are super good for you. They're great source of nutrients. Eat more greens. Most people aren't getting enough greens, but take five cups of romaine, and that is a lot of romaine, 40 calories. That's like half of one small apple. And this is why people end up adding oil to salads, because one tablespoon of oil has about 120 calories, which is misleading in a totally different direction. And another thing I see pretty often, maybe you're replacing your burger buns with a couple leaves of chard. Well, that's 100 to 200 calories being replaced with 18 calories of chard. Replacing a burger with a portobello mushroom is cheating your body of calories and will lead to comments like, I just feel like my body was missing something without meat. Yeah, 500 calories of anything. Something like a lentil burger would be a way better replacement because it's actually a significant source of calories. Another one, I once went to a fancy vegan restaurant and ordered fettuccine alfredo and the noodles were made out of broccoli stems. Now again, including all these vegetables is a great idea, but replacing calorically significant aspects of your meal with them is a recipe for another hangry vegan, and we already have enough of those. Now I wanna talk about the total flip side of this, which is when you are restricting your body of calories through whatever method, like zoodles, then your body is going to crave the most calorie dense thing it can think of. And it's probably not healthy, but this is just how we're wired. If we look back through human history, it's very clear that it was good to have a drive for very calorie dense foods. But now in modern times, that instinct is a little bit out of date and now is killing us. And that it's hard for me to admit is a bigger problem than zoodles. And this brings me to a whole nother misunderstanding understanding, I believe that our collective protein craving is actually a proxy craving for fat. In other words, when somebody's like, I just feel like I need some protein right now, I need protein for all this energy, they are actually just craving fat calories. It's simply that higher protein animal foods are also higher fat higher energy density foods. One example, I don't think these protein cravings would be satisfied by straight protein powder. Maybe one of those fancy drinks with all the other stuff mixed in, but not straight protein powder. And what I think cements this point is that all of these people in the US, for example, with these protein cravings are already massively over consuming protein. They do not need more protein, especially when you consider how little protein a human baby consumes in their breast milk when they're doubling size quite quickly. So it's not the protein that people crave, it's that dense source of fat, and I would invite any of you to find a food that is often craved by people who claim they're craving protein that is not also high fat. 
So I would say definitely explore chronometer, get a chance to learn what foods have enough calories to properly fuel your body. For example, you are much better off with some whole complex carbs that evenly deliver fuel to your brain as opposed to foods that just look like they have calories. Now, some of you might be thinking, hold up, Mike, you have it completely wrong. I'm trying to lose weight. Why are you so concerned about me eating enough? And to that, I say the answer is actually the same. Looking to the broad study, it was also a whole food starch based, you know, complex carb based diet that was, as they say, likely the most effective all you can eat no added exercise diet for weight loss ever recorded. That means you can still give your body the fuel it needs and lose weight by eating these whole plant foods. And that likely has to do with how fiber, when you're getting enough, creates enough propionate in your digestive system and that propionate triggers your appetite to no longer say you're hungry. And so it's just your natural way of saying, hey, I actually ate enough. As for those zoodles, maybe you don't want to eat wheat pasta. Then try brown rice pasta. Maybe instead of just a portobello burger, you can do a black bean burger with the portobello on top. And instead of just eating some maybe salad greens and balsamic, put that on top of some brown rice or something. All right, that's it for today. Zoodles are the worst. Eat enough food. I also do have a little announcement. I have a second channel that I'm involved with, which is about tiny houses. It's called TIY or Tiny It Yourself. It's a DIY tiny channel. Me and my girl, Lindy, have been building a tiny house and we want to show people how to do stuff. Thankfully, she's doing all the editing so I can keep focusing on this. So feel free to go and subscribe to that. Subscribe to this if you haven't like everything. And feel free to let me know down below if there are any other types of weird food replacement illusions that I didn't talk about. And I'll see you next time.